Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be styling bookshelves with thrifted items plus books. I'm going for a cozy library, cozy study feel in my living room. And I really think that these bookshelves help to achieve that vision. This season for me has been all about slowing down. I am expecting a baby boy next month. And as you guys know, with pregnancy comes nesting and I have been heavily nesting. Honestly, I think I'm a nester regardless of being pregnant, but I am so happy to have a project checked off the list and move on to the next. And let's get started. For this project, we cut three two by eights and I am using a stain that I already had. I really like this Jaco bean color because I felt that it would tie in nicely with some other darker decorative elements that we have going on in our kitchen and living room. I've left all the specifics for these DIY bookshelves in the description box below. My husband will be hanging all of the shelves and we have some of the hardest walls around. So he's making sure to find all of the studs and also using a special bit on his drill to get into those walls. We use five inch corner brackets to hang these shelves and you absolutely want to make sure you're using the right equipment to hang shelves, especially when they're going to be holding on to some weight like books. And again, I've left the specifics for the length of the shelves as well as the spacing in between in the description box. You may remember in some previous thrifting videos, I had been on the lookout for some shelves and this was that area that I wanted to put a bookshelf in. So we decided to make them ourselves. That way we could have the measurements be exactly what we needed for the space. The first shelf was able to be successfully built with all of the black screws. However, starting on the second all the way down, we had to start using some of these silver ones. So a quick fix for that is going to be me just painting over these so we can have a nice uniform look. Then I'm gonna be painting this cord white. Let's hope this works. Here is our collection of books we're going to be working with. This is about a third of the size of books that I used to have a few years ago. I purged a ton of them and I also wanted to gather everything else that I kind of wanted to incorporate on these shelves. Got the record player, records, a couple of thrifted art pieces, and some decorative items that are all thrifted as well. Really going for a traveled eclectic look. I love to incorporate these types of items into our decor around the house. My husband and I love to travel and collect things and that is always the vibe around here. These books were actually recently given to me with that exception of the book on the top. So let's see what we can do with these shelves and get that cozy library feel. I 
I like to have everything that I'm going to be working with all in the same spot. So I had to do the dirty work of carrying all the books over to the shelves so I could really get a nice look at everything. And I didn't have a complete method for this. I did know that I wanted to maybe separate fiction from nonfiction, but I wasn't going to get too crazy library mode and do a Dewey Decimal system or anything like that. But we did have a nice little assortment of nonfiction, fiction, and then also trying to separate some hardback or vintage books versus the soft covers. I did also want to leave some breathing room for the decorative items, the record player if it fit, as well as the records. Although I wasn't following a specific method to decorate the shelves, a great rule of thumb for decorating is the rule of threes where you have three objects grouped together. It's just a lot more pleasing to the eye to have that odd number. One can look a little lonely, two can look a little weird, but with three, you've got something there. So I do stick to that sometimes, actually most of the time, if I'm styling an area. And then when it came to the books, like I mentioned, I did want to have some type of system there where I was using a lot of the hardback books together all on one shelf and then just adding in and you'll see me playing around with everything moving it around a little bit and that is the most fun of decorating I'm sure you guys feel the same way please comment down below if it is for you where you do just play around move things around figure out what looks great to you also what works best for you because honestly that is the most important for example I have a toddler. Do I really want to put heavy, sharp, or anything that is super breakable down at the bottom? Definitely not. So thinking of those things and what works best for you and your family are other great ways to think about how you're decorating a space and designing a space. In talking about figuring out what works and what does not work. Unfortunately, it did not work to have the record player resting on the shelf. Ideally, I wanted it on there and to be open and plugged in so that way we can make practical use of the space. However, it didn't look right any way I situated on that shelf, so that was fine, but I did choose to display some records, and I love the fact that most records have very artistic covers, so it just looks like a nice piece of art hanging out there, and then just figuring out what other decorative objects I wanted to keep on that shelf, and then I also did want to have some space. I plan on getting some coasters, and that's such a great chill spot to read or look at our gorgeous saltwater fish tank. And just like that, an idea comes to fruition and now it's time to enjoy the space and of course, play around with it for days to come because I will do that with any space in my home. 
I would love to know what are some of your favorite books or recommendations. Please comment them down below. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.